This is Carol. Today I will be teaching you how to make this creative intro. Since the editing tips involved are quite a lot, we will divide the series into several episodes. And in today's video, we will focus on how to do cool text and graphics effect shown in the video, and also how to do some great text rotation animation. So if you are interested in this topic, keep watching. Let's first create these two text materials. Go to the text area and find the title 6 and enter the text content like um, slow down. Select this font. Then click add a text. Scale the text a little larger. Then in the text border, change the color of the border to white. Reduce the size a little to make the border look smaller. When we are done here, click on Slapshot to take a screenshot. Next, we click here to create a new text. Change the content to like a um, tutorial. Choose this font. Then we enlarge the text a little bit. And I click on Slapshot to save a screenshot. Now, let's import these two screenshots into VidiaProf Logger. We first add rightward motion effect to the first image. Click here to activate the motion editor. Add first mark at the beginning of the timeline. Move the display box to the right. Then, adjust the arrow a little bit. You can preview the zoom effect on the right side. Next, pull the playhead to the end of the timeline and add a second mark. This time, we move the display box to the left side. Finally, let's check the details and play to see the effect. Yep, that's what I want. Next, we add a leftward motion effect to the second image. Put it on the overlay track. Here you can find an inspector to align the picture by height or width to make it spread out. The following steps are pretty much the same as what we did before, except that direction of the movement is different. Let me quickly finish it here. Yet at this point, we can only see the second screenshot on the screen. We go to the compositing. Select the screen so that both screenshots can be displayed at the same time. Let's play it and see. Yeah, not bad. So far, the text effect with the crisscross motion is complete. We import a solid color background. Then create a new text. Enter here. Select this font. Then 
click Snapshot to take a screenshot. Import a screenshot into VideoPro Vlogger and place it on the video track. We click here to activate the motion editor. Add a keyframe to the starting position and keep the frame intact. Then, add another keyframe at the end. Again, keep the frame intact, but we need to change the rotation angle at the bottom here. And I will enter 360 to rotate the screen by one turn. Click on Apply. And find a circular mask in effect. Put it on the effect track. If you have stacked multiple clips, make sure to change the settings so that the effect only works on the clip you need. We will adjust radius value in the properties. Control the size of the circle. Adjust the gradient to make the edges of the circle look clear. Now, go back to clip in the main video track. Click here and you can place it wherever you want. Using sample. Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to learn more about editing tricks or what has been going on with Video Pro Vlogger, be sure to click the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.